Now I know many collectors got really excited when Halper finally announced a new Creature Alliance model because it's been years since we've last seen it in scale 500. And thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop, we can finally take a closer look at this brand new Halper Wings model. And with that hello and welcome to a new episode of Reviewer. We today will take a closer look at an Airbus A319-100 of Croatia Airlines. And at the front of the box we have a cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside. And on top of that we have the Croatia Airlines branding. Then on the back side of the box we have yet another cutout. Just shows you how much Harper cares for their product. And there's really nothing else to say about this dreadful box design. And here she is, the Airbus A319 in the new standard livery of Croatia Airlines. And when I say new, I mean the livery has been around for quite a while now. But of course this is the first time we get it in a scale 500 model. In fact the last Croatia Airlines model we got in scale 500 was a Dash 8 back in 2011. And the last A319 of Croatia Airlines we got was all the way back from 2010, so 12 years ago. And now we finally got a new aircraft model from the airline. So of course we have to take a closer look to see what it actually has to offer. And as always we start our tour around the aircraft model with a look at the tail section where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Croatia Airlines branding. On top of the stabilizer we then find the last two letters of the registration code, the full registration code we find on the fuselage, we also have the Croatia flag and the flag of the European Union. And then on the top of the fuselage we find the addition of a set dome, a detail I always enjoy seeing, especially when it's done like this in a much more realistic size than Harper did in previous model generations. And then towards the very tail of the aircraft we do also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we then have the Croatia Airlines branding. Underneath that we have the aircraft type specification, the coat of arms of the Croatian city Osijek, I believe it's pronounced, that is apparently the fourth largest city in Croatia, according to Wikipedia at least, and we have some static ports and the Star Alliance logo of which the airline is a full member. The cockpit section then comprises of yet another static port, the cockpit windows and the window wipers, but overall I don't think this very much resembles the cockpit section of an A319, but that's just how Harper makes all the A319s, which I think is a big, big shame. Then we have the engine nacelles. They have been kept in all white, just as most of the fuselage, but do have the silver leading edge and the safety relevant markings printed on. The physical detailing of these engines overall I think is pretty decent, especially here from the front. Very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we have the emergency exits printed on, which leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at. Starting over the top side, where we have the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely. We have some different shades of grey for additional detailing and the markings for the emergency exit printed on as well. The underside of the wings offers us some more nice physical detailing and we also find the full registration code of the aircraft once more. This A319 then also has the original wingtip fences, which I think Halpa by now is pulling off very nicely. Then we have the landing gear, that is the standard landing gear that Halpa uses for all the Airbus A319s, a good thing for the main landing gear, which looks pretty decent. The front landing gear, however, pretty hideous, way oversized, and of course we are missing printed details here. And then we have a hole on the fuselage for a stand, which is not included with this aircraft model, but it doesn't destroy any printed details, so at least that. And then we have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A319-100 in the new or current standard livery of Croatia Airlines from Harper Wings and Scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? I mean, apart from the fact that I personally prefer the old standard livery from Croatia Airlines, I think this is a pretty alright model from Harper Wings. Yes, the front landing gear is hideous and I am not a fan of the shape of the cockpit section from Harper Wings. I think they could do much better here and they have done so in the past, but overall I don't really have much else to complain about when it comes to this aircraft model. Hapa has applied delivery and it doesn't seem like they have done any mistakes with that. The few details they have added they have done so pretty nicely. So overall, yeah, I mean, this is the standard we get from Hapa these days, and for that it is actually a pretty decent model. Now, does the official retail price from Hapa Wings of 30 euros reflect the value and quality of this aircraft model? 
absolutely not. But that is of course an issue this model shares with pretty much all Harperwings models these days. So apart from Harperwings rip off policy, I would say that this aircraft model is worth having in one's collection, but only because we don't have any better manufacturer in scale 500. And with that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. With that I'd like to say thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.